This kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching you. Every day was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that.
mission is over. When you get through that finish line and you know you gave it every single thing you are, you are a champion. It don't matter what a score says. And remember what I told you, you are my kids. That is nothing will ever take that away. There is nothing that is more important to me in my life besides Bloomer right now that you could ever understand the presence that you have and that you give to my life. This is not just kids that I have that started at the beginning of school and thank God, here we go till November the 5th and I get to go after school. No. Remember what I told you. If I did not give you every single thing of effort, whether it was crazy, whether it was whatever, to drag it out of you, the ability you never thought you had, then I had failed you. I cannot fail you. I can fail other things in my life, but you are the one thing that I can't. Know that I love you. Know that I'm proud of you. Know that I'm pulling for you. Know that I am going to carry you. If you get through that chute and you are hurt, I will carry you. And I am carrying you. I have you on my back. Whatever you are scared of, I will carry it for you. All you got to do, baby, is just suit up and show them who you are. You are mine. Okay? That is what you need to think of. Go get it. Everybody who has ever doubted you, go get it to show them just in spite of it. Everybody who has supported you, go get it because they've loved you. And go get it because you hate running and I know it. You don't run unless I make you. That is, other coaches may hate that. I love that. That is an honor that you would do something you hate just to be a part of this and to tolerate me for that many months. That is great respect. Being your coach is not just something I do after school. I wish I could be like other coaches and just be like, here's your bibs. Oh, okay, yay, we're done. Yeah, if I ever coach like that, shoot me in the head, I'm done. That's not a coach. That's somebody that's getting a paycheck all whopping 50 cents of it an hour it is. I coach you because my coach that I had, the good one, gave me these same opportunities. But I do this because I know what it was like for somebody to make me believe when I didn't even know how. I had no clue. I would never be a Coach Carney ever. But I will make you understand that if you work hard enough, that it does not matter where you're from, it does not matter what you're up against. If you set your mind to it, if you want something hard enough, you will find a way to achieve it and not let any excuse stop you. Nine o'clock, every human, nine o'clock. What time? Nine o'clock. And then load it up and go. Now, you race at two and 2.45. We will eat lunch there. We will get over there so that you can experience 6A and 5A. You got a perfect thing that will get you rallied and ready. Are you ready to take on the hardest thing you've ever done? Yes. yes I'm not worried. Come get some. <laughs> <laughs> I just you know, you're <laughs>
You can do this. All you have to do is believe in yourself and believe in your teammates. 30 minutes max. 4.15. 4.15 what time? 4.15. Remember the power of five. I told you. I hold your hand. I've always held your hand. Men, you get in that five. That five is your state championship. Do not accept less than that five. You get that man pack. Do not settle for no excuse. If you start out too fast, all right, good. Hold it the other two. Hold it down and gut check it. Have the courage to lead. They will follow. Tomorrow's your day. You're going. Tyler, you're going to hurt. There's no way I can fix it. Me stuck on the sideline when y'all hurt is worse. Go find your family and you finish what you start. You started this thing. We're getting to the other side. You have fought this race with endurance. And every single step you take, believe, I can do this. I'm enough, and I am going to leave it out here. When you go through that finish line, nothing else is going to matter. Nothing else can touch you. We will carry you if we have to. Today, you are unstoppable. It is not doubt. It is not fear. It is not pressure. It is you. Today is all yours. Today, with a smile on your face, you make sure everybody in the state of Georgia knows exactly the kids that I see every day. You just go run. There is nothing can stop you today. But you have to believe and you've got to fight. You can do this. I know you can. Any doubt that you have is gone. It's on my back. It's in the pouch. It's the fastest 5K you'll ever do. It's the greatest feeling in the world. You are the best. Own it. Own it. No matter what, you own every step of that race today. You own it. Okay? So what we're going to do is we'll get together and we're going to pray. Then after that, men, get ready to go. Girls, get out there. Our Father, Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Family on three. One, two, three. Family! Who am I? I am a champion. That's right. You should remember that all through this game. I will conquer what has not been conquered. Defeat will not be in my cream. I will believe what others have doubted. I will always endeavor to hold the steep honor and respect of my team. I have trained my mind and my body will fall. Who am I? I am a champion. I will acknowledge the fact that my opponents do not expect me to win. Last shot. All right. Leave it all out here. I'm not asking for much. I'm asking for everything. Yes, sir, no, sir. Yes, sir, no, sir. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. We love you, Jimmy. We love you, Jimmy. Towns on three. Towns on three. One, two, three. Towns. Weakness will not be in my heart. I will look to my comrades and to those who have brought me to this world and those who have trained me, and I will draw strength from them. Who am I? I am a champion. I will practice, go out into the field of battle. And I will move, move in everything I can do. And I will reach my field of battle at any means at my disposal. And when I get there, I will ride violently. I will rip the heart from my enemy and leave it bleeding on the ground. Because he cannot stop me. Who am I? I am a champion. To my side, I have comrades. Comrades that have been through me through thick and thin. Through sacrifice, through blood, through sweat, through tears. Never will I let them fall. Never will I let them down, and I will never leave an enemy behind. Because our opponent does not know my heart. Who am I? I am a champion. No one will deny me. No one will defy me. 
and no one will tell me who and what I am. It can be. Belief will change my world. It is through cotton, it is through country, it has put man on the moon, and it will carry me through this battle. Who am I? I am the champion. Defeat, retreat, those are not in my words. I don't understand those definitions. I don't understand when things go wrong. I don't understand mistakes. But I do understand this. I understand victory, and I understand never surrendering. No matter how bad things go, my heart, my mind will carry my body with my limbs and me. Who am I? I am the champion. Today will be that day. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right now, right here, in your house and in your home. Who am I? I am the champion. History will remember me. I will not let word about him be caught. I will define myself. I will write my own praises. And no one will tell me what I can never be. I will never go out, not knowing I've given everything I've got. Cause who am I? I am the champion. Who am I? I am the champion. Who am I? Opportunity that very few people ever get the chance to have and you know why you got this opportunity because you fought and that is who you are and I don't care what hurts for 30 minutes nothing can touch you there is nothing as strong as you are if you set your mind to it and all you have to do is what you've done all year long go find your family and you finish what you start you started this thing we're getting to the other side you have fought this race with endurance, and every single step you take, believe, I can do this. I'm enough, and I am going to leave it out here. When you go through that finish line, nothing else is going to matter. Nothing else can touch you. We will carry you if we have to. Today, you are unstoppable. It is not doubt. It is not fear. It is not pressure. It is you. Today is all yours. Today, with a smile on your face, you make sure everybody in the state of Georgia knows exactly the kids that I see every day. You just go run. There's not enough thank yous that I could ever tell you for what that you have done, ever. Know that, know that I am thankful for the child that you are, not just thank you for being a part of cross country. No, for the kid that you are in a classroom, the please and thank yous. Yes, I am strict and start on you because I want you to be the best of the best because that's what you deserve to be. So thank you for everything you have done. And I mean that. And I mean it when I say I love you. I love you in my own strange, weird way. Know that when I scream at you, that's praise of love coming at you. Hi, my name is Tyler Grimsley, number one cross country runner for Towns County High School. Um, anyway, I'm a senior and I'm and this cross country. Coach Ledford was like my inspiration to start running in sixth grade. 
my Aunt Katie always told me about how good of a coach she was, and I, it was my dream to run for her, and I got to run for her for all four years, and she was my reason to run. So I'm going to miss her the most of all out of cross country, and then I'm not really going to miss the running or the practices that much, but coach, your crazy voice is going to be stuck inside my head forever. Thanks for the nightmares and the PTSD, but that's about it. Thank you, Coach. I started running two, three years ago because Austin Watson told me that I'm running. And he just said, you're running. And I said, OK. And I had no idea what I was getting into. The family and the, just all the camaraderie and the fun runs. I never thought I would say that running was fun or running was worth it in any way. But it kept me in shape as well as it just provided memories that I'll never forget. And I'd like to thank Coach Ledford for <laughs> helping me throughout the year and just never giving up on me, even when I, uh, even though I was probably like the slowest on the team half the time. Cross country. I liked the running and I hated the running. Um, <laughs> uh, I liked how Coach Ledford was very, very, blah, 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 was very, very good at, um, inspiring the team, I guess. I don't know. Um, even though she did get on my nerves quite a bit. That happened. <laughs> but it's OK, because it works out. And because she was usually right, which makes me angry. But it's OK. So I hated Coach Ledford being right, but I love Coach Ledford being right. And I hated running, but I loved running. I'm bipolar. It's OK. I actually hate cross country. Um, and I only do it because my dad makes me and because I love my team. Coach Ledford, sometimes you really make me mad. But you're the best. We love you, Coach Ledford. <laughs> Wouldn't do it without you. Thank you so much for all that you have done for this team. You have given up so much of yourself for us. You go above and beyond coaching, and you teach us. You have taught me how to live without worry. You have taught me how to trust in God through everything, and you have taught me how to get to the other side. I will never forget what you've done for me. Thank you, and I love you. Coach Ledford, thank you for this season. Thank you for making me feel not only part of a team, but a family. You have pushed me and pushed me my entire year long, and that's why I am here where we are today. You, you pushed us to get where we are. You have always showed us that we have to put faith in God first, and without faith or God, we couldn't do this. You have showed us that with our courage and with our strength that we can get anywhere we want to. You are the reason why I have so much courage and so much strength through my races, through my practices, through every day. You have helped us beyond measures and we cannot thank you enough. Thank you for all the words, all the courage and making us feel like champions just like we have been today. We all love you Coach Ledford. I originally got into cross country because of my three friends Lexi, Summer and Amanda but they weren't the entire reason I kept striving to do my best on the team. The other reason was a dear friend of mine more like a mother called Coach Ledford. Coach Ledford may always say she's not our mama but to a lot of us, she is a mother figure. She may yell sometimes, she gets angry, but that's what mothers do for their children. They get mad at them when they screw up, they nurture them when they're down, and they always bump us to get back up. They never leave our side until we're back up and running again. She's always there with a fighting spirit to protect us, her children, if anything should happen to us. And even when we're gone, graduated, She'll still remember us as her children. She loves us for who we are and what we want to become. She wants us to succeed at this. She wants us to do our best. She doesn't care if we don't make it on that seven spot stage. She doesn't care here if we break our leg the day before. What she cares about is if we're there for each other, if we're holding each other, if we're supporting one another. Because this isn't just a family, it's a pack. And we have each other's back. We got all of each other's back, and even if you're not there the next year or the year before that, we will always be there in spirit, loving each other. Thank you. We all love you, Coach Ledford. Thank you for all your encouragement.
thank you that I could ever say because I know how bad it should just despise from me. <laughs> but I want you to know that you are the best. I don't care what the excuses are, and I know you're hurt, but you could fight through anything. Do you see that? Every day I kept saying you have to believe you cannot doubt, but you're broken and you're hurt. But do you see how that you fought to get your five? And I am at a point of saying I'm proud that I, I have nothing more to say. But I love you in a way you'll never know. <coughs> like when I'm driving my jazzy car, I will never forget what you did. Not now, not ever. You are my family, you know, always enough. And you are going to walk out of the field. And you are going to be. For the fifth time, you get to stand on that stage. For the fifth time, you just made it. There's no, no one can ever touch you at that school. You, you just took up a whole bunch more space on that wall. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's the kid we just won. Commerce is going to be. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20-meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly but gets